Hi, and welcome to this section of the tutor where we're going to tackle a subject that a lot of people have problems with, but I promise you I'm going to teach it to you and it's going to be easy, and that topic is the topic of division. Specifically, this is what I'm going to call division part one, where I'm going to kind of introduce division and work some problems, and then later on in another section we're going to get into some more challenging problems. Okay, but right now what you need to remember is that division is not hard, and basically Division is going to be the opposite of multiplication. So in order to move and really do well at division, you have to be familiar with what multiplication is. You cannot really do division until you know what multiplication is. So if you don't know that really well, go back to the multiplication section and review that, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to talk about division, and the problems you're going to have are going to look something like this. Uh, and I'll explain as we go along here. Six, and there's going to be this symbol here, like this divided by 3, okay? What this means is 6 divided by 3. Um, what does that really mean? Another way that you'll see this problem written, okay, is kind of like this. You'll have 6 underneath this kind of house looking thing, and then you'll have a 3 here, okay? What does this mean, okay? You're taking 6 and you're dividing into it 3. Well, what it really means is the following. You have 6 balls, Okay, six balls. That's the six here, six balls. Okay, and what it's really asking you is how many times can the number three be divided into, into these balls? A better way to say that is um, how many groupings of three can you chop this thing up into? Now, let me go ahead and just kind of show you what I'm talking about here. What we have is we have six, and we're trying to figure out how many times the number three will divide into six. Okay. So what it's really asking you is, if I were to group this number into groups of three, okay, here's a group of three, and the reason I'm picking three is because three is in the problem, okay? And then now over here you see here's another group of three, okay? So what it's asking me is, if I take the number six and I divide it up so that, so in, into groups of three, okay, how many groups would I have? That's exactly what, what division is, okay? You take the number that you're given, okay, and you chop it up into groups of however many you're dividing by, okay? And the question is, how many groups would you have? Well, you see right here, here's one group, okay, and here is another group. So, there are two groups of three, okay? So, the answer is two, okay? That is the answer to this problem, two. The answer is 2, okay? And I'm just showing you, you know, kind of a graphically on the board exactly what it really means, and we're going to work a lot of problems and you'll understand it. But basically, in the biggest possible sense, division is you take the number that you're dividing into and you, you write it down, okay? And this is, this is how many things I have. And then you chop it up into groups of however many you're dividing by, okay? So in this case, I chopped it up into groups of three. And the question is, how many groups do you have? How many times can three be divided in evenly into the number? One group of three, two groups of three. So the answer is two. Six divided by three is two. Now, if you remember back to my lesson on multiplication, this should seem a little bit familiar because when I explained multiplication to you, I told you that multiplication is, you know, three times two gives you six, for instance. That what it's telling you is the first number is how many groups of something do you have. The second number is how many things in each group. And it's a shortcut for addition, right? Uh, so when you take 3 times 2, 